This is third grade Go Math lesson 2.4, and today um, we will use bar graphs. So at the very top it says use the after dinner activities bar graph for one through six, as we see here. This shows number of students on the side, and it shows the activities that they did after dinner. All right. So the third grade students at Case Elementary were asked what they spent. The most time doing last week after dinner. The results are shown on the bar graph at, at the right, which we just looked at. How many students, for number one, how many students spent the most time watching TV after dinner? So if I look, now on the numbers, they only go by twos, but you can see they marked in between the two and the four, so we could assume that is three. So that is what came up here for three students. I'm going to go on down to question number three how many students in all played a game or read so let's look at how many played a game and we see that number is eight and the other one says how many read so if we go here to re uh, how many read that's six we need to add eight plus six which I know is fourteen all right, 14 students. All right. I'm sorry, I wrote that on the wrong line, actually. I apologize. Sometimes when I'm holding this camera, I don't, I can't, I'm not seeing the whole entire page. I apologize for that. All right. So that should be answer for number three. How many students in all play, um, played a game I read? 14 students. Um, I'm going to go on down to um, how many, number five. How many more students read than watched TV? Well, when we looked up here, we knew that six students read, but only three students watched TV. Uh, um, so we're going to go ahead and subtract six minus three, which would be three students again. So whenever we say how many more, in most cases, we're going to subtract including when it says how many fewer. On number uh, six, it says suppose three students change their answers to reading instead of doing homework. Where would the bar end for reading end? So um, three more students ended up uh, reading. So if we look, again we have six students who read, so if we add three more, we're going to end up with nine, which is between the eight and the ten. The bar for students reading will end between nine. I mean, sorry about that. Eight and. 10. So, period here. So again, suppose three students change their answers to reading instead of doing their homework. Where would the bar for reading end? The bar for students will end, the bar for students reading will end between 8 and 10. And that is how we use bar graphs.